Before we can take a closer look at gender issues, it's important to have a general idea of how digitalization contributed to changes at different levels of the media industry. At the macro level, the introduction of the internet and ICT in the 1990s and the transformation of analog into digital signals based on binary codes of zeros and ones created the possibility of media conversions. These structural transformations had an impact on the routines, the working practices and the working conditions of journalists. Not only did they provide new possibilities, but they also created challenges because they changed the workflow and the required competences for journalists. The assets of these new tools are not automatically available to all journalists. In order to make use of them and have their professional advantages, journalists need to develop specific digital skills. And this, of course, requires additional time investment and training. And as we will see in the next parts of this unit, this has specific gendered consequences. Also, in an increasingly data-driven society, journalists also need skills to access and analyze databases in order to keep fulfilling their watchdog role and hold powerful institutions and governments accountable. Newsrooms are actively looking for people that are able to make sense of all those data by analyzing them and presenting them in an accessible manner. Amy Webb, professor at the Stern School of Business in New York, takes this trend into account when she makes a prediction about journalism jobs in the near future. At the Online News Association conference in 2016, she presented this schedule, which listed several journalism jobs that would disappear, as well as new jobs that will emerge. We will now listen to a fragment of her talk at the conference, in which she explains the expected shifts. It means that we will have different jobs, our newsrooms will look different, things like reporter and social media manager will be gone, Things like uh, people who are on an investigations team specifically there and trained to investigate the algorithms and to investigate the data. Things like public editors for code, things like bot developers, per principal researchers, right, ecosystem managers. These are probably the jobs of the future. 